On November 27th, Michelle Lee, Victoria McAllister, Cameron Beals, and Emily Williams left Orlando in their fully loaded van to do what none of them had ever considered. They traveled from east to west coast to see America's great parks with a slight twist. My mom was very hesitant. She was like, it's your young girls and um, we're in a pandemic and you've never been anywhere. Are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know when I'll be able to do this again. And all of us kind of went into it like that. In an escape camper van stocked with food and drinks, the four UNC seniors began their journey west. And so we went from New Orleans then to Houston and stayed with Michelle's sister who lived there. Went from Houston to Austin and then went to San Antonio um, for the day. From there, we went to Phoenix and parked in Phoenix uh, for the night and then drove up to Grand Canyon. And that's when the national park started. At each location, the girls took precautions to remain safe from COVID-19. We slept in the van all, all the time. We slept in the van and then would camp and like make fires and cook dinner, use most of our fresh food that were was in the freezer. There is a way to safely travel in the middle of COVID as long as you have, you know, you stay with the people that you're with and you don't do anything that um, would cause you to get it or spread it. So what we were doing and what we made sure that we were doing every day was, according to guidelines, was safe. Despite the lingering threat of the virus, Lee and McAllister say the trip is one they'll never forget. It was the four of us girls that people see, you know, people see women as weak and that they shouldn't be doing this. And it's like we did it and we did it safely and we did it without having to use any kind of defense. Um, so it was almost like a big power trip, I guess, too. People tell women that you can't do this stuff and it's like we did it. It was three and a half weeks with your close or best friends. And you'd get to see like some amazing sights together. Like that would never happen again for me to have like three and a half weeks with my friends to go do that. That's what you call women's empowerment. I'm Chip Sweeney reporting.